Hello viewers, this is Ajholrafi once again. Welcome to this new video where I'm going to show you how to find a data entry job on Upwork and how to apply on the job to get hired and I will show you by doing some realistic work. Okay, so I'm moving forward to sign into my Upwork profile. So if you don't have a profile, you have to sign up. It's very easy and straightforward and then you have to sign in so as I have already a profile I'm going to click on login here and putting my username password okay so here I am in my Upwork dashboard and on the first page on find work okay so now as you can see I have my job fit set it to data entry and other other details as you can see here data entry my categories has data entry listed and I'm going to click on data entry now to find jobs that has data entry related um, the clients are in need of data entry tasks okay so here we are on the search result page of data entry category and let me see if I can find a job here and this one long term transcriber transcriber for short videos one per video and this is although it's a transcription project okay you have to uh, transcribe you have to write something into a word document or any uh, maybe text document for by listening a audio file okay so it actually a uh, data entry related projects okay so it could be actually listed to a data entry project and here we have a project which is eBay and Amazon listing so in this project what you have to do you have to add uh, add products into a eBay or maybe an Amazon store and here is another one which is a project for skillful Excel expert I am looking for someone to create Excel spreadsheet from data provided by me so if you have a good experience in Excel you can apply on this job and here is one I have found that is we need some printed reports put into the into a spreadsheet okay so let me open this project because it seems a bit easy and it's only uh, required a data entry skill so I have data entry skill let me see what it is here we need some printed reports put in uh, sorry we need some printed reports put into a spreadsheet okay so they might have some pictures or maybe a PDF file and we have to or you have to uh, transfer it or you have to enter it to an Excel spreadsheet okay so let me read the job description from here we have about 150 pages of contact information that we need extracted and put into a spreadsheet or CSV format okay so they have 150 uh, pages of contact information okay let me see uh, where are these okay these are in a PDF file I'm going to download the file okay downloading and let me read the other section well, we have about okay we already read and there are approximately 700 700 records in total basic fields required so clients are in need of first name last name email phone category and address and a sample of the file attached which we have already downloaded quality must be excellent and faster on turn around required so client needs this job to be done faster okay so now I'm going to open the spreadsheet sorry open the uh, PDF and I'm going to open a spreadsheet to show you how this work uh, needs to be done Excel and we have to find information for these fields first name first name last name email phone categories address okay so these are the basic fields or required fields that client needs from us and we have to extract them from this spreadsheet let me zoom in a bit 
sorry this PDF actually I made a mistake okay so here client needs the first name last name email phone category and address let me see where is the first name okay so here managed by these are the people's two peoples are managing so let me took uh, information for one manager uh, here is the name Karuna Daimlo first name is Karuna okay D I M E L O W and email let me find the email okay so here no email address for this contact but uh, but it's okay we are going to the next field which is a phone number so here we have to if, if we have to put the phone number as I am seeing the a zero in front of the phone number so if I just normally put the phone number it will be uh, a wrong phone number I'm going to show you what I mean 04010 okay so if I just uh, enter then you just notice that the zero before the four has been disappeared okay so it is a, a wrong phone number to make this right we have to format these cells we have to click here and format cells then click on uh, text and then okay and now if I add the zero before the four it will be the accurate number okay okay so I have collected the phone number it's time to collect the categories uh, here are the categories potential potential seller comma b u y e r and in address field we have qld north street no uh, other information just straight qld okay so first entry has been completed and now let me see if i can find an entry with the email address now if we have got a question that uh, I have got the email address uh, empty why is, is there going to be a problem and the answer is no it's not going to cause any problem because clients already know that there has no email address on their uh, resource page okay so it's okay to keep it blank and move forward now let me see if I can find an email address okay so here we have got a contact with email address I'm going to uh, fill up the spreadsheet by collecting this information for for this information okay so I'm going to find the name Liam Liam Mahoney and here it is first name last name and let me collect the email address jack dot b i sorry b i r i n g at hotmail dot com and then we have to collect the phone number uh, here is the phone number and we have already the cell is formatted and now if I put the zero before the four it will be fine double five two six the uh, seven double eight zero four one double five zero four one double five two six seven double eight sorry two six seven double eight and then I have to collect the uh, address so here is the address we have got street address 11 C O L B R A N A B E N U E K E N T H U R S T I'm sorry I'm not too fast it's W two one five six okay so I have collected the address information and oops it should be here I made a mistake but I just corrected this so it's okay and now I have to collect the categories here S E double L E R and then B U Y E R buyer okay so this is the information that client are looking for sorry client is looking for and now I'm going to apply on that job and I'm going to attach the file as an example for clients review uh, so let me make some improvement here oops okay so here we go it's too big okay so here we go now I'm saving this as an with the name example example for data 
entry and it is in under documents tab okay documents folder not actually tab and let me move back to the job post and I'm going to apply on the job post so here we have uh, we have two questions so one two into two almost five minutes so if there is 700 so let me see uh, 1400 divided sorry where is it divided 60 23 hours well let's say big number of hours so I'm going to click on submit proposal and and here is the option to choose your hourly rate so as I am charging $10 an hour so it's okay to keep it here and I'm moving so let me demonstrate few things here so my hourly rate is $10 but Upwork will deduct 20% fee and which is uh, $2 and I will actually receive uh, $8 an hour okay so now I'm going to write a cover letter uh, before I forget I have to upload the file because most of the time I forget to upload the example files example data entry and upload it now let me let me just answer this question please advise a promise a pro approximate hours to complete so as I have found this will take almost 23.5 hours let me just say uh, it, it will take almost 24 hours to complete the project working hours to complete the project and I will able to give you just two days with high accuracy <laughs> Okay, are you going to be doing data entry or will you be using a third party? So here, what did he mean by third party? Uh, he mean that if I am going to use any software to transcribe or translate this, sorry, to, uh, to tra transform the, the PDF file to a Word file. So let me try one uh, PDF OSIR okay online OCR.net. this is a nice website I think let me see if it's uh, familiar to me yes this is a nice website let me see if I can or if I could be able to uh, transfer the file from PDF to Word downloads what is the file name uh, DOC100518 I mean downloads DOC okay here is the file open and I'm going to click on convert oh, okay so I made a little mistake I could actually convert it to Excel okay and I think I have to upload it again DOC here is the file and Excel convert oops so there is it's not working okay this converter is not working and the only process is uh, I have is by typing out as I have showed here so I'm going to tell the client that I have tried in OCR program it didn't work so I have to type them out 
okay so i have answered the questions that is really important to be considered for a project and now i'm going to write the cover letter hi i have added an example spreadsheet by completing two entries from the PDF file that you have attached on the job post please review and let me know your feedback it would be nice to have the opportunity to assist you project kind regards okay so that's it and so here I have wrote the cover letter which is a unique cover letter uh, dedicated for this particular project and here I have the uh, I have the question answered question answered and I have attached the example file for clients review and now it's time to click on submit and that's pretty much it okay so I have successfully successfully applied to a job post and if I got the if I get the if I get the job then I have already showed you how I have to complete the task I have to complete all the tasks by manually typing and there are 700 entries okay so that's the process how you will find a job uh, online and particularly on Upwork you can use other other online platforms as well like Fiverr you can use uh, freelancer.com you can use peopleperhour.com uh, people okay there are several uh, websites out there you can find data entry jobs and you can do and you can earn money online so if you have got any question regarding the job post or anything regarding freelancing or making money online then you can freely ask me by commenting uh, below and I'd love to help you with any information okay so I'm looking forward to see you in the next video and to uh, if you if you if you are a new viewer of my YouTube channel or my video then please don't forget to subscribe this channel to get more helpful videos in near future and I have to see you in the next video have good times